The dog days of summer have arrived at the New Hampshire State House, where at the moment the rhetoric and the weather are equally heated. Thursday morning, Governor Chris Sununu met with business leaders who encouraged him to hold the line on business taxes in negotiations over the budget he vetoed. The compromise I'm willing to give is, okay, I will forego tomorrow's cuts. Let's just maintain where we are today. You know, you don't go up, I don't go down. We maintain a balance, and I think that's fair. Meantime, Democrats were a block away, holding a hearing on the human impact of the budget veto. People in recovery, people uh, concerned about the mental health crisis, people concerned about the child protection crisis, people concerned about access to women's health care services. On one side, addiction treatment providers like the Farnham Center say they're being forced to cut back on services. On the other side, employers say tax increases take away money they could invest in the workforce. You let political theatrics ensue, that's going to be a problem, right? If, if, if they are going to keep going out and kind of pushing this political message, trying to pit one constituency against another and all of that, ultimately that's, that's not a recipe for success. I think uh, he's good at throwing out some of these random talking points, and, uh, but we're going to focus on solving problems for people. Uh, there's not 300 people in this room uh, playing politics. So for now, the budget impasse will continue, but both sides remain optimistic that a deal can eventually be reached. As you know, the continuing resolution ends the end of September, and, uh, and I want to see us do, get a compromise. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.